If you want to know dope places to shop for plus size clothing on a budget, keep watching. What's up, Savvy? You know you love you. You can't get enough of me. Oh, wait. It's your girl, Marie. And y'all already know I'm back bringing that motherfucker. Heat. Okay. Okay, so this video is going to be about places to shop for plus size clothing that's affordable. It's good when it comes to sizing, so it's true to size. I thought I'd put y'all up on game because that's why you're here, right? All right, so but before we do that, y'all already know. If you're new to my channel, what's up? Over here, we do all things plus size because if it ain't the heavyweight, it ain't no other way. What's up, gang? <laughs> At that point, I didn't even know what to do. But all right, so y'all already know the routine. Make sure y'all like this video if y'all enjoy the type of content. And uh, make sure to let me know where you shop at down below. All right, you guys, so I'm going to be giving you five affordable places to shop for plus size clothing. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this video. First, part, the first place on my list to shop, of course, is Shein. Y'all know I'm a brand ambassador for them. I absolutely love Shein's clothes. Um, the only downside to Shein though is sometimes things are not true to size. Sometimes they are either the material that they make the clothes out of either is stretchy or it does not give stretch. So it's kind of like hit or miss sometimes with them. So I would definitely suggest for Shein to read the reviews. Like Shein has a great return system. So if something doesn't fit, you can always ship it back free of charge and they'll get you a size up size down or you can just get a credit and exchange it for something else so she is definitely number one place number two on my list is rev dolls rev dolls is pretty pretty dope they have some nice basic pieces if you ask me um which is always good because you got to start somewhere when you're trying to figure out your style and what you like and things that you would that works with your body um so Rev Dolls is a great place to start. Um, they are a little more on the pricey side though, um, but their sizing extensions are amazing. Like with Shein, Shein only goes up to like 3X. You may can find two or one pieces that go up to a four or five, but it's very rare. With Rev Dolls, I think they really, they really go up to like a 5X. So of course, the more material, the higher the price, so your stuff wouldn't be as affordable with Rev Doll, but it'll be worth it because they do have great quality and they are a pretty, pretty dynamic store. Number three on the list that I know y'all probably gonna shoot me out about, Rainbow. Yes, girl, they on the list. I said affordable, didn't I? Rainbows. Rainbows is a great place to find your look like to start somewhere it's a great starting point because you're not overwhelmed with oh how do i match this with that or how do i do it it's really not like that at rainbows rainbows you for one you have to look you have to look you have to go into rainbows with the mindset of what do i like what draws me to it you cannot go in there like oh i'm looking for this i need that and i need this top this tube top to match these pants i got no ma'am you will be in there spinning will be spinning okay because that's that's not rainbows rainbows don't give that rainbows give oh i got this cute crop top but i don't want to wear it without a tank top run the rainbows and get you a two dollar tank um oh i need some cute matching pajamas i'm going to an all girls slumber party and i want to make sure i look good rainbows grab your set for eight dollars like rainbows is very affordable when you're quick and you need something right now they're located everywhere um this is probably the only store, no, it is another one. So this is one of the stores that are actually located offline. I think it's another store that I'm gonna mention that's not online, but the rest of them are gonna be online. Um, but Rainbows is a very, very good place to start even when it comes to like accessories. Just buy you some cute little handbags for $5. Their shoes are getting better, like some slides. They still make you look like your dress like rainbows is a great starting point as well for you trying to figure out what again works with your body and what doesn't rainbows is known for their pattern and all that extra stuff they like to do on their clothes don't get me wrong i bought some stuff i tried it on and it was like no ma'am it was like that for me but if you like that type of stuff you might fall you might find your place and then now you know i'm going to rainbows to shop i know this is gonna fit i know this is gonna work with me Rainbow jeans never worked for me. Never worked for me. I went up to 3X 
still didn't work. So you just gotta, again, try these stores out and find what works for you, but I'm just giving you a place to start. So Rainbows is on the list because it is affordable. It's affordable as fuck, dog. Like you can buy a whole outfit for probably under $20. So, yeah, it's the rainbows is definitely always gonna be on my list. And then the next place on my list is Walmart. Now, I know you're like, girl, yes, Walmart, sis, that's your problem. That's why you ain't, <laughs> that's why you ain't dressing right, baby. That's why you ain't dressing right. You gotta know what you're going to get when you go get it. Walmart is great. Like when I say great, I mean great for graphic tees on the low, like, People be sleeping on Walmart. Bathing suits, falls when it becomes fall, and graphic tees are my go-to for Walmart. Go-to, and sometimes purses, because they purses be a little cute. Go-to for Walmart. You can find graphic tees for $6, $8, $4. Hell, me and Bay was at one Walmart and rung up a shirt for a dollar. Like, graphic tee, this graphic tee, Walmart. <laughs> that was so crazy. But yeah, it's like Walmart. I said affordable. We trying to stay on a budget. You don't want to go broke trying to look good. That ain't that ain't why we do it. We do it for us. And you don't want to break your bank. You look good to go to brunch, but now you can't buy brunch. That ain't how we step in. So, Walmart, I'm trying to tell you, I'm putting you on Walmart. And that's the other store that is not only online, but to get the best. To get the best graphic tees though, like to really see their, their diversity of tees, graphic tees, I would start online. But if you're in a very upper class area, so like if I want to go to Walmart, I go to my homegirl house. She's out there in like Atlanta area, Lenox Mall area. That's considered high class in Atlanta. So their Walmart is always fully stocked. Like they always get the first of the fire. Like their Walmart is phenomenal. I be finding hella shit in there. Um, but the Walmart over here, like, I'm like on the outskirts of Atlanta. So everybody's at the same Walmart because that's the only Walmart in the area. So it's always looking crazy. But I would start online. But if you find yourself in Walmart, just go walk over there and check out their tees. And you have to go to the men's section to find the graphic tees. They're not going to tell you yet. Because you want to be looking at a woman's shirt like, girl, that girl lied. Ain't no, ain't no teaser. No, me and Bay was looking for something else at Walmart. And we found this whole place of just tees. And I was like, are these men tees? No, they're unisex tees. You just got to figure out which size works for you. So in a man, in men, I'm still a 3X only because I like my shirts to have a little extra room. So if I want to tie them up, I can. And then two, it's Walmart. And I always have it in the back of my mind that they stuff going to shrink when I wash it. So I just like to go a size up. But graphic tees, sometimes they go up to a size 4X. It just depends on which Walmart you at. But if you go online, they do go up to, I think, a 4 or 5X. So Walmart is definitely on the list because, again, under $10, you can find you about two to three shirts that you can wear dressed up or dressed down. Like, I always show y'all videos on how to wear your graphic tees. I'm going to do an update one soon, though. Walmart, great place to start. Okay. And then last but not least boohoo number five is boohoo so boohoo is very very i would say boohoo is very underestimated like boohoo got some nice stuff but it's one of those places where you just gotta now boohoo you have to know what you're looking for you can't just be on boohoo scrolling you'll be like what in the hell no boohoo is one of those places where you gotta be like okay i got these pants I know the shirt, the uh, idea of the shirt that I want. I just don't know exactly what it is. And you scroll on Boohoo and you'll probably find something. So Boohoo is definitely like a good secondary place, I will say. Um, their shipping is pretty tedious. Like, well not tedious, but pretty extreme. Um, Their shipping takes a bit. It takes a bit. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, it takes a bit. I haven't shopped on there. And maybe about a few months now, so maybe they've gotten better. But yeah, Boohoo is on the list because they are affordable. Like, it's just one of those places you get what you pay for. Like, I'm not going. <laughs> it just, it just is what it is. You want affordable? Boohoo. Now, how long you gonna have that stuff? I don't. Know. 
Mm, it just depends on how more you how often you wear it. But yeah, but who's on the list? They're they're on the list. So just to recap, five top affordable places to shop. We have Shein. Of course, you know Shein has it all. Like I love Shein. Shein. The next one was Rev Dolls. Definitely dope. You guys need to check their website out. The following one was Rainbows. Very affordable. Outfit on twenty dollars. The next one was Walmart, go to places for graphic tees. And then the fifth one was Boo. You get what you pay for. So if you guys would like to, if you guys would like me to continue this series, because trust me, I have like a hundred stores. <laughs> I be shopping, y'all. Or they be sponsoring me and then I shop for free. But either way, I be shopping. So if you guys want me to continue this series and do a updated one, you know, I see this change and places that I do for jeans because I told you, you gotta find, you gotta have a category for certain things. Like, you just got to, or you will be in a rabbit hole trying to buy all this stuff and you don't even know how to match it up or what you already got. So you gotta have a, you gotta have some type of starting point. That's my talking thing, it's telling me it's time to. So, subbies, I hope this video was very informative and helps you get an idea of where to start when it comes to shopping for plus size clothes. Um, and if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment box down below because I'll get to them. And all the links for these places and my discount code will be listed in the description box as well. So, if you would like a cheat sheet on all of the places that I do shop, I am also going to be selling it down below in the description for a dollar. And it'll just be pretty much every list that I've ever shopped with the sizes and the links. And you can just click and shop handy instead of looking for places, instead of like trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work. I already got it made for you. All you gotta do is download it and get it for a dollar. So make sure you check out the description box down below because that's where all of this I all of this extra information will be. And I love you, curvy cutie. If you don't stay curvy and cute, and what the fuck I can curve to for will. Think that I say lies until next time. Peace.